someone asked me to talk about the soil on Mars. Uh, first off, soil is a term we use on Earth to describe ground material that has some portion of organic material in it. Uh, decaying organic matter and, and actual you know, living things like bacteria. Um, on a place like Mars or the Moon or asteroids, we usually refer to it as regolith, which is a term that means rock blanket and is essentially just that. It is a, um, a broken up, uh, rocky material uh, that could have salts in it, uh, it could have water or ice uh, as part of it, but for the most part it's just broken up rock. Um, the area where InSight landed on Mars is broken up basaltic lava flows. Basalt is a type of uh, primitive uh, igneous rock formed from solidifying magma or lava and um, it has a lot of iron and magnesium in it so that gives it a very dark color um, and it can be very tough um, and challenging for things like Curiosity that have a drill. Um, this uh, lava flow has been broken up over billions of years from impact processes. Uh, impactors coming in and shattering it and making ejecta blankets and then another impact coming in and partially burying the original crater. So it's this volume of crater after crater uh, breaking up and gardening this regolith into a material with a broad particle size distribution from boulders all the way down to sand sized grains. Um, and then there's the ubiquitous Martian dust. The area we've landed isn't particularly dusty, but um, it certainly coats most things and we've even seen some of it already deposit on the lander from the atmosphere. Um, so our, the regolith that we're presented with is um, uh, is just broken up basaltic material. There's no evidence of water alteration, aqueous alteration at the site where we've landed. So no evaporites, no salt deposits, uh, just uh, simple broken up rock. Uh, other places on Mars are different, but uh, we chose this place because we have a very good chance of penetrating with the mole.